Hey, what's up, what's up? How you doing? Here I am again. I'm recording this video because it's the best part of the story about this digital audio tape recorder. It's finally finished, serviced. <laughs> we are talking about a digital audio tape deck DTC 690 by Sony. Uh, yeah, took me some time before I acquired some parts so I can finish this. Uh, let's say Sony is beautiful, beautiful digital audio tape recorder. <laughs> And as usual, I'm testing it with a bunch of my pre-recorded tapes uh, that I recorded on many other devices, like Task MD830, MK2, Panasonic DV3700, 3800, stuff like that. Even the Sony DTC690, the same unit like this one. So yeah, if it's gonna play all those tapes, then it's gonna work probably fine with yours. So I already played some of it. Uh, let's say 690, the same tape that, I, that is recorded on the same unit, but other device, of course, not same unit, another unit. And it's playing just fine. So I try, of course, uh, index search skip to another track oh yeah i forgot to tell tonight we have highly missed eight years age blended scotch whiskey <laughs> yeah the music maybe it's not appropriate maybe i should put some scott scotch music but it's kind of cool i like to keep it in a freezer before i drink it I don't know why, I, I don't like ice, that's the thing. Ice is kind of watery at all. So yeah, I tested it and the final test after everything that I tested would be of course uh, LP. Because this device, I have to mention, has standard and long play recording mode, yeah. We have analog input, RCA, optical and coaxial digital inputs. We're gonna demonstrate one of it soon. And you know, like a regular nice display, well-known Sony display with ah, solid picks. And we have absolute time, remaining time and the time. So we have three time counters. And yeah, I like to test everything, so yeah, I'm gonna try, actually I'm gonna rewind this tape, and then I'm gonna try, I already tried LP tape recorded on, on Tascam 30 MK2, so maybe now I'm gonna try LP tape recorded on uh, DTC 690, like a device just like this one, that should work. And everything that I try works. There is one issue, I'm gonna show it at the end of the video probably, or maybe even soon, I don't know if it occurs. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So basically playback recording, those are perfectly functional. Everything works just fine. Standard, long play cassettes all good so let's try this one okay it's starting okay pumping it up pumping it up all right it's working so because this is a mixed long play tape it's a dj mix recorded uh like uh, on four hours dj mix uh, then I have to, you know, fast forward a little bit. But then I'm gonna, right now, I'm gonna show you what's the problem. If I would just press play right now, bam, it will not play. 
but if I just do a little bit more fast forward and then I do play, then it will work. <laughs> so did you figure that? Like, like let's go. If it if it deck starts to fast forward like a high speed, you know, and I press play, it will not play. But if I do just a little bit more, it will play. <laughs> so what I do of course this is the trick that I found like if I'm fast forward in something uh, and I would wanna I would just stop do a little bit of more fast forward and then play <laughs> it's a trick but if you're gonna go rewind it's working fine that's why it's kind of weird you see rewinding fast forward just press play no, it's going fine, yeah. no problem, no issue. And the music is solid, good. The bass is there, the highs. All what I want is from the digital audio tape recorder. I like it, I like it. So everything is working except for the one small thing. You see, rewind fast, rewind like crazy, play works. Even on long play tapes. But if I go the same thing fast forward, no. I have to do stop, fast forward a little bit more and then play. <laughs> I know it's a small adjustment inside, who knows, but I really don't have time and to investigate what's wrong because I figured it out. This is, uh, let's say, low budget uh, that and most of the people who wants to use this device would do first one thing if they have a lot of bad tapes they would like to transform this uh, those tapes to computer if they have a card sound card with digital input they would connect it with the optical digital output here input here and they would record in some software like audacity sound forge whatever you use on apple computers and they would transfer all that tapes into their computer and then they would you know do whatever they want with them now they have all those precious recordings in their computer so now they can sell the tapes they can sell the dot they they don't need it anymore there are people like that we got another option people who really like that and they want to record and play tapes. You can do it with this thing. The only thing that, that is not gonna work properly is like that fast forward thing. Uh, and I need, didn't try, maybe it's working on the little tapes like uh, 30 minutes, 64 minutes. I'm using very long tapes, 120 minutes. They are kind of problematic for some units. But hey, you know, like uh, it is what it is so I like the sound I like the functions everything is working just fine except for that one small thing so I think this is a good dot for someone who really wants to jump into the never have a dot or you have a dot tapes like me want to transfer them or you just simply wants to enjoy in digital uh, tape audio <laughs> So if it's working on long play tapes and I tried all of them, uh, e whatever you have before, I believe this unit will play it, you know. The worst thing I mean that happens is like uh, that overshoot, but never chew the tape or something like that. No, no, all that is good. I think I have one 30 minute tape. Uh, it's, uh, it's not mine, I don't know what's on on the tape but let's try if i try if it's gonna overshoot even on that very 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 short tape i'm gonna try to put it in a high speed mode and then i'm gonna press play now yes just press stop a little bit more play and it's working <laughs> so it's weird it's weird I know <laughs> so but yeah uh, maybe since this tape is here we can do 
some testing with recordings. This is a very short tape and I believe I have one CD playing and I've, I can put it in a recording mode and, and record some music on this tape. Because this tape is 30 minutes and it's not recorded till the end. Maybe we should do it justice. Yeah. Okay. I'll put it in a... Okay, start ID. Auto, auto, auto it is. Uh, record. I'm going to start recording from the six seconds, maybe. Huh? Yeah. Okay, we got it right. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent track. I have to say one thing. Uh, you know that I complained a lot, like a copyright, here I come, copyright, here I come, copyright. After I complained a lot on my videos, YouTube suddenly decided not to copyright my videos with this music anymore. They figured out, like, look, this guy is talking over the music, like that music, nobody can use that music. So they figured out, ah, we're not gonna copyright your music anymore. Maybe, maybe, we'll see. We'll see. You never know with YouTube. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna record this 30 minute tape, which I never used. It's not mine. I just somehow, I don't know how did I get it. Maybe someone sent it to me. And then I'm gonna test it again. And maybe I'm gonna keep that as a recorded, you know, like uh, from, DTC 690 and put it in my ba bunch of tapes here like so I have 10 I don't know it's kind of neat to have all those tapes and you can test anytime you want all those devices and I like to record the video so if someone buys it from me he or she will know that what this device is doing what's the issue if there is an issue I don't think that's the issue you tell me if you ask me like uh, fast forward and stuff like that you use that on, on that machine not so often at least I I would never use it uh, even if I used the, the if I wanted to like a select first fifth eight twelve track and record it on some other that I would always use index you know like I would never try to find it on my ear with fast forward so that's why I think it's not such a big issue but you know they're picky people I mean if I don't if I would like something better I know I would ah, I, don't, I don't want that but then you have to pay hundred dollars more <laughs> it is what it is if you want the perfectly functional without any issue it's like oh we're getting a little bit higher with the price I saw a couple of that sold like a 500. I saw a couple of them, the perfectly functional machine, you can sell it for 500 bucks. But if it's no any kind of issues and it's professional, Panasonic, task, uh, you know, this is like a home unit, home that. So it's kind of neat for someone who has Sony components to put, it's kind of thin, it's not like heavy bulky so yeah i like sony sony that i don't know why i liked <laughs> take care till next time